All right, so we're gonna be working on one of my favorite types of projects here in After Effects, and that's just really creating some cool stuff. In this video, we're gonna create some really cool visual loops by using one effect, so you're gonna be able to create a lot of cool and creative work in this video. So if that's for you, you wanna create something awesome, this tutorial is gonna be helpful and fun for you. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. So this tutorial is great if you want to put together some abstract motion graphics or you want a really cool animated background. Now, there's a lot of cool, unique options with this, but let's go ahead and create something cool. Let's jump in, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna have a lot of awesome techniques here to be able to do our effects right here in After Effects. So we'll come here to our tutorial composition. The first thing we'll do is go to layer, new, solid, and you can call it waves. And then we'll go to effect generate and we'll grab radio waves. Now this is basically the entire effect for this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll go here to polygon, the tab right there, and you can bring down the number of sides. Go ahead and experiment with that. We'll set it to four. Okay, then we'll come here to wave motion and we need to do a few things here. So first of all, let's come here to the expansion and set this to 2.2 and they'll kind of help condense everything. And we'll come here to the spin. We'll set this up to like five and this will allow this to kind of spin a little bit. But then we'll come here to the lifespan and set this up to 40. So the goal here now is to take our layer and move it forward in our timeline and then extend the out point. And we'll go ahead and continue to move this forward a little bit until we kind of get this to fill up the entire, you know, composition as you see here. Uh, because we, the goal here is to already have this, you know, animation up. Um, you know as our timeline starts so boom there's that so this looks kind of ugly so we're going to go ahead and work on this real quick so we'll come here to the stroke and we'll come here to the color we can change this to white or any color that you want but there's a better way to change colors a little bit later and we'll come here to the fade in time and we'll set this to you know 5.86 maybe and maybe we'll come here to the start width and set this up to like three so i'll be a little bit you know skinnier as it comes in and we come here to the, say the fade out time and we'll set this up to like 40 or maybe 50 here, somewhere around that range. And now we'll kind of fade out the edges there. And that's pretty cool. And then we can come here to the fade in time and bring this up to like maybe five to six. And they'll kind of keep the center faded. So now we'll have this subtle animation here. And we'll talk about adjusting to different styles here in a second. But let's go ahead and really, you know, take this to the next level with just a few key effects. So we'll come here to layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab glow and we'll have the glow effect in here let's go ahead and just duplicate that effect and set the glow radius up to like maybe 130 and we'll grab the glow effect one more time and duplicate that and let's go to layer new solid and just call this background and what we're going to do here is just make a black background click ok and put it underneath everything and that kind of just helps out you know a lot right there and it looks great then let's go ahead and create another adjustment layer and this time we'll go to effect noise and grain and we're going to add noise Set the noise amount up to 12%, uncheck use color noise. And then we're gonna create another adjustment layer and make sure we we'll put this underneath the noise adjustment layer. And what we're gonna do is go to effect, blur and sharpen and grab Gaussian blur. And we'll set our blurriness up to like 21. And what we're gonna do here is come here to the tools here at the top and we'll grab the ellipse tool. And just from the center of our composition, we'll click and hold down control on our keyboard here to draw out a you know, interesting circle here. We'll come here to the blend mode here and set this to subtract for the mask mode. Hit F on keyboard for mask feather and just feather this out, like maybe by a lot. And that's gonna just subtly, you know, turn the edges out of focus. And make sure you check on repeat edge picks. So now we'll have this very nice cinematic, you know, animated background or visual loop that you can use uh, for your After Effects projects. Obviously you can throw a title in front of that or like a logo animation and it's gonna look really cool. And of course, because we got to pay the bills, I got to give a huge shout out to our 650 Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension where we have over 650 elements in here, including titles, you know, motion graphics, animated backgrounds, shape transitions, and more. And how this extension works is very simple. What we can do is preview an asset that we want. So we have this accent title here. We'll click on apply if we want to use this as a template and automatically applies a full animated template into our composition. We can go into that template and we can quickly change out our title and we can easily make changes as we see fit and easily change out the color as we need to. And it will update in our main composition. And we have plenty of other packs in our extension. And say, for example, we want more animated backgrounds. We have our 200 animated background pack where we can preview 200 animated backgrounds and find something that works. And you can easily apply a background from our pack here. And when you add this together, you're able to put together a full After Effects composition for title, accent graphics, and animated background. 
So of course, if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing, of course, awesome work for your projects, you can take a look at any of the packs off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so let's talk about taking our current design here and being able to manipulate into other type of designs as well. Uh, you have a lot of options and you'll be able to experiment, but let me give you some ideas. So first of all, we have, you know, our radio waves that we've already set up. We can come here to the polygon settings and set this up to like 16 sides and you're going to get like a circle design. You know, you can get, or you can bring it down to like a triangle. You got a lot of different designs there, but also we go to effect, generate, and we can grab say a gradient ramp and we can quickly, you know, change out our colors here. This is a great way to create some very interesting, you know, design through color. So, you know, that's a very unique look there, but we can also create our own custom, you know, shapes as well, rather than just being bound to like the settings in here. And you can also experiment with the curvy size and curviness. But if you want to create your own custom settings, what you could do is say grab the pen tool here and we can just create like a random mask, say like this, anything crazy, you know, something crazy like that. And what we'll do is we'll come here to the wave type and we we'll set this to mask. And you can set this to your mask one. And as you can see, boom, we get something kind of unique like that. And if you do a smaller mask, you'll get something a little bit more simple like this. And what you can do is you can duplicate your waves effect and go to um, layer transforming and flip it, say horizontally, and I'll go to the other side. So, you know, that's how you can create something, you know, unique like this. So you have a lot of different options when working with the this radio waves effect, but you get to create a really cool loop that will go on forever. So that is our tutorial on creating these visual loops right here instead of After Effects. Obviously these can go on forever, so you have some cool options to work with with this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.